guys, this is Heidi and you're watching Heidi K Makeup. I wanted to do a monthly favorites video for you guys. I was a little challenged when I thought to myself, oh, I want to do a monthly favorites video because almost everything I've been using all month long has been in uh, monthly projects or seasonal project pans or has been in Pan That Palette. Um, so I didn't want to mention stuff that I'm constantly mentioning in seasonal pans. So I kind of had to think outside and be like, well, what have I used that hasn't been that? So there's been a couple things in my collection that I've kind of pulled out. There's been things that I haven't necessarily used all month long, but every time I reach for them or have an opportunity to reach for them, I'm like, yes, um, when I want to cheat on my Project Pan stuff. So more or less all month I've been just going strong on Project Pan, but I wanted to go ahead and tell you about some of these favorites. So the first thing I wanted to mention, I wanted to put this in my December favorites, but I felt like I hadn't owned it long enough to call it a favorite yet. But the Too Faced Born This Way foundation, I really, really enjoy it. Really, I think it's the perfect foundation for someone regardless of your skin type. Um, I have very dry skin and I tend to want a lighter, more dewy finish and this one doesn't really give me that. It's a little more full coverage than I normally would go for but that's why I think it would work for everyone um, and I'll talk about how I kind of make this work for me but it lasts all day and I really, really quite like it. I know that when it first came out they didn't have a lot of um, options in terms of color range but this one matched me and I usually have a hard time finding something fair enough to match me so that's great. It's also vegan. I went through and I marked the things in my collection that I know for sure are vegan so that's cool if any of you guys are vegan. Born This Way Foundation. It's very very nice. Kind of to go along with that another favorite has been my Beauty Blender. I really like this. I've been using it all month with that foundation and it kind of gives me a less full coverage look than when I was using it with my brush and so I definitely prefer this. I've not had the Beauty Blender ever until the month of December. I finally bought one um, and I didn't even have knockoffs. I was like, eh, brushes can do this, but there's, some, there's something really cool about this. I don't know if I really believe that you need to buy the Beauty Blender. I think that other brands of sponges could probably do the trick, but this is the only one I've tried. And it's very, very good. I very much like it. Um, that being said, I might try to find some dupes when this one goes bad and is ready to move on its merry way. And kind of along with that, I wanted to mention another favorite, and this is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector, um, the liquid one. Yeah, Shimmering Skin Perfector. This one is in opal. Um, and normally I wear Moonstone. This one is kind of a dark shade just for highlight, although I have used it as highlight some um, on my skin tone. My skin is very fair. But when I mix it with that Too Faced foundation, which I did today, I just feel like it gives me this really nice glow and keeps my dry skin from looking too dull. So I do really like the Opal as kind of a mixing to mix with foundation as well. Another tool that I should mention that I've really been enjoying is this brush. This is the uh, domed bronzer brush by EcoTools. Um, and it's a synthetic brush. It's kind of like wide and thick. I don't know about using this for bronzer because I like to have very, very gentle touch of bronzer on my face, but I have been using this with um, my Too Faced Cocoa Powder Foundation to kind of set everything and buff everything in. I think this is great a great replacement for like a kabuki brush. I really, really like this a lot. I've even heard people say that you can use it with liquid foundation, but I haven't tried that. A kind of weird thing is this uh, brush cleaner by Sonia Kashik. Um, this is the brush and sponge cleaner, and I was using my e.l.f. brush cleaner, um, and I still use that for my brushes, but I find that this cleans the Beauty Blender much, much better than the e.l.f. one does. So I really like this, and I've been going through it. It was pretty much full. I had it just sitting in a drawer. I wasn't really using it. Um, so I've used quite a bit of it, but I find that I wash the Beauty Blender quite often because it gets kind of gross looking, um, and I really... I'm a huge fan of that. Um, another product that I have tried recently is the Jack Black Lip Balm. And this is in Natural Mint. Jack Black is cruelty free. 
Um, it is not vegan though. It has beeswax in it and it is so nice. I've heard Tim Talia talk about this lip balm for a really, really long time and I never could bring myself to buy it because it's like $7.50. But for like a lip balm that you put on before you go to bed to kind of like refresh your lips, I've been wearing red lipstick a lot because one of the projects I'm working on has a red lipstick in it and you really need your lips to look nice for that. So I find that if I put this on the night before, my lips look much nicer the next day and it just feels like a really thorough lip balm. So I do definitely like that. Then I have a couple of things that I have recently hauled. The first is the uh, Too Faced Love Flush Blush Palette. Um, and I haven't been wearing this every day because I've been really, really working on my NARS palette that I'm trying to do for Pan That Palette. But these shades are just beautiful, particularly these two right here. I will always love you and Baby Love is the one I'm wearing today. I just really like those two. I think that they're really unique shades. But all of these shades are awesome um, and all of them are part of the permanent line. So even if you can't get a hold of this palette, you can get any of these individually. Um, and if you're looking for vegan, uh, Your Love is King and How Deep is Your Love, these two are both vegan as well. I think the other ones all have carmine in them, but I really have enjoyed having this, and on days that I don't reach for that NARS palette, I'm reaching for this all the time. And another product that I'm really enjoying, I'm actually wearing both of these today, is my um, The Balm Manizer Sisters palette. Um, this, again, was a holiday release. Good luck finding it, because this was the last one at my Kohl's when I bought it, but... I mentioned it in a haul recently and I like it. I'm actually wearing all three of them today. I was afraid that Betty wouldn't work for me, but I'm actually wearing it as a bronzer. And I don't think I look too shimmery or intense. Um, and then Mary Luminizer. I bought this palette because I wanted to try Mary and I was like, oh, well, why, wouldn't, why would I pay $24 for a full size of Mary Luminizer when I could pay $28 and try all three? So that's exactly what I did and I'm glad I did because Cindy makes a really pretty blush topper too and I've even managed to figure out a way to work with Betty. So I like this. I also got the Becca Afterglow palette, but I like the texture of these more even. So... And then the last thing that is a favorite, and this was a huge favorite this month, I'm wearing these on my nails right now, literally for the entire month. I have taken this off as soon as it starts to show wear and then put it right back on. I haven't worn any other nail polish except for these two, this combination, all month long. And I kind of feel bad mentioning it because you can't buy either of them anymore, but maybe you have similar shades in your collection or whatever. The... Um, the under color is Valet Tag by Wet n Wild, and this was a seasonal, um, seasonal nail polish in their summer 2015, I want to say. It's very similar to Wet Cement, which is a permanent color, so you could get a similar look, but this one has a little bit more of a purpley kind of color to it. And then I've been topping it with Milani's Pink Flare, which is... A dupe, I'm told, for the OPI uh, Teenage Dream, which was a discontinued color. Um, but OPI tests on animals, and you can't get a hold of Teenage Dream anymore. So I went out and bought the Milani one, and oh my gosh, it's just so pretty, especially over that ballet tag. But this is discontinued as well, so sorry, you guys. Sorry to mention it, but it is a favorite, so I thought I'd let you guys know. Anyways, those are all my favorites for the month of January. I'd love to hear from you guys. What are some of your favorite things this month? Uh, let me know in the comments. If you guys are new to my channel, you can hit the subscribe button so the next time I do a video, you'll know about it. You can also see what my family's up to every day by subscribing to our daily channel, which is Sudden Compact, or my parenting channel for pregnancy updates, which is Heidi Kim TV. All that's linked down below. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. It's time to do an empties video for you guys. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and break right into it. It's not going to be in any particular order, although I've got some cleaning supplies on the top. So, um, everything in here is cruelty free to the best of my knowledge at the time of filming. I'll let you know if it's not 